Hello you guys, hello from Curacao. We got here yesterday afternoon and we came to our gorgeous Airbnb which we are absolutely loving and then we went out for dinner at the Nifo Huts which was so delicious and so cute and then we went to get some groceries for the week at the Centrum supermarket which was surprisingly a very fruitful and abundant grocery store so we were very delighted to see that. I'm going to show you all the clips of our Airbnb and of last night's dinner. Welcome to our humble abode, our Airbnb for our week in Curacao. There was so much thought that was put into the outdoor area of our Airbnb. We have our beautiful pool, our seating area, our television, thriving plants. We spent so much time out here in the pool, in the hammock, in the sun, in the shade. We absolutely loved it. Inside we had a kitchen that had a mini fridge, all the appliances you could need a coffee maker, an oven, and then we had our bedroom which had air conditioning and lots of closet space. The bathroom was beautifully done and we had our shower which included a heater. Very thankful for that. It had beautiful decor and the house were so helpful and pleasant. Just down the road from our house was the Nifo Huts. We went there for our first night for dinner. It was absolutely beautiful and just such a Caribbean vibe. We both had fresh fish and it was absolutely delicious. We were also visited by our friend and the Christmas decorations were out in full force. So it was a really beautiful way to kick off our vacation. And we really loved the Nifo Huts as a really vibey Caribbean restaurant. And now today we have just gotten up and we have made ourselves some breakfast and we are going to go downtown Curacao to Willemstead where there is so many activities, so many sights to see. So I thought that we would get it done as much as we could on the first day and that way if we absolutely love anything or if we miss anything, we have the rest of the week to go back. So we're going to get in our car and go down to Willemstead and we'll see where the day takes us. Willemstad is the capital city of Curacao and we had so much fun exploring all it has to offer over our week stay in Curacao. There is so much to see. We started off our day at what ended up being my favorite cafe, Van Gogh. The coffee, the service, the aesthetic at Van Gogh was perfection and we were obsessed with this little drive through after our beautiful cup of morning coffee, we started our exploration of Curacao's historic city center that has been designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It consists of four quarters, Punda, Otrabana, Scarlu, and Peter Mai. The Queen Emma Bridge that you see here is a pontoon bridge across St. Anna Bay in Curacao. It connects Punda and Otrabana quarters and the bridge is hinged and it opens regularly to allow ocean vessels to pass through. As you can see, there are people that are standing on the bridge while this is happening. We chose to sit on a bench and watch. I think I would have got a little seasick, but this bridge is so cool and it was honestly fascinating just to sit back and watch it all play out. Willemstad is filled with vibrant and colorful architecture and has both Dutch colonial and Caribbean influence. These influences blended together create an energy and architectural style that is so beautifully unique to this island. Aside from drooling over the unique architecture, there is plenty of things to do in Willemstad and we try to get as much in as we could over our week's stay. Everywhere you turn, there's a beautiful mural or piece of art or lizard. And then we got to see this iconic Dushi sign as well as the Curacao sign. It was absolutely beautiful. We then went on to La Boheme for lunch. We absolutely loved our experience here. They have such a wide variety of items on the menu. We did start off with a smoothie that was 10 out of 10, highly recommend. And then Ryan had a sandwich and I had an arepa, which I am still dreaming about to this moment. We then wandered around before we headed home to cool down after a long, hot day exploring the downtown central.
After our swim, we went to Kokomo Beach, which was very close to our Airbnb, and we had a swim and an incredible snorkeling experience. We absolutely loved Kokomo Beach and would highly recommend it. We saw so many cool fish, and we had our snorkel equipment on. We were flipping around in our flippers, and we had the best time. So that was a ton of ton experience. And now we are going to go to a highly recommended fish restaurant. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I won't pretend that I know how to pronounce this restaurant's name, but it translates to the fishery. I would highly recommend going here if you're in the area. There will be a lineup, but don't be afraid of it. It moves fairly quickly. We ended up having seared tuna and fresh prawns and french fries. It was so incredible and very affordable. Good morning, you guys. Today is a beach hopping day for us. We are going to an abundance of beaches. We're starting with Playa Puerto Marie and then going to Playa Lagoon. And we're just gonna hit as many beaches as we can today. So we are at Playa Puerto Marie right now and we look forward to taking you along on the day. Are you excited? Yeah. We have our sunscreen Get on. Some sun. As you can tell, I have such an amazing tan already. <laughs> We started our beach hopping day at Playa Puerto Marie and we wanted to come to this beach because we heard that pigs roam free on this beachfront but much to our dismay, we did not find any pigs here. A local did tell us that pigs have not been seen here for quite some time because this is a heavily populated and trafficked beach. So honestly, the pigs just probably got tired of all the human interaction and went elsewhere. Do not blame them for that. So we decided to take in the views from this lookout tower. It was absolutely beautiful, but ultimately we decided not to pay the $3 entrance fee into Playa Porta Marie and decided to move on to our next destination. So next we went to Playa Lagoon. This is my favorite spot in Curacao. This had much more of an authentic local vibe and it wasn't crowded at all, free entry. And we decided to go up these stairs and enjoy the views from the little restaurant and bar that is upstairs. It was so cute. If you love iguanas, you're gonna be in heaven here, much like Ryan was, because there are tons of iguanas that are just hanging out, looking at the views. They were so cute but we had an amazing snorkeling experience here. It was so, so beautiful. Taking it all in at Playa Lagoon, highly recommend going here. You don't wanna miss this one. We next went to Grote Nip. So this is a very, very popular beach and it's kind of a one-stop shop. They have smoothies, they have restaurants, they have washrooms, they have excursions, things to do. So this is a really popular place to go. As you can see here, there is a huge body of turquoise clear water. It truly is a very, very beautiful beach. Our dreams came true here because we did get to see two pigs. They were so cute. This pig here actually ended up peeing in this video. I did remove that. I figured you may not want to see that, so you're very welcome. But this was a beautiful beach. We didn't go swimming here. It was just pretty crowded. It was midday, but it was really beautiful and they looked like everyone was having a lot of fun. So we finished our day by going to Blue View Restaurant. This had absolutely beautiful views. We had an amazing lunch here, really great service, and just overlooking the water. There is a cliff that's nearby that you can jump off into the water, but we decided not to do that, but this is definitely a must visit if you're in the area. After a full day of beach hopping and being in the sun, we took some rest and relaxation at our Airbnb before heading into Willemstad for the evening. Willemstad at night is truly so beautiful. On this evening, we went to the Roast Cannibal Rum Bar. This was an incredible dining experience. Exceptional service, absolutely delicious food. The vibes were truly immaculate. Please add this restaurant to your itinerary if you're going to Curacao. We absolutely loved it here and trust me, you do not want to miss this restaurant. 
Good morning, you guys. We are at Mambo Beach. Today we are going to do Mambo Beach. We are going to tour the boulevard. Then we are going to go to Fort Beatenburg. And then we are going to go to uh, the tugboat shipwreck to do some snorkeling. So it's a little bit cloudy out today. That's okay because when we're going to be walking around, we don't want it to be too, too hot. So looking forward to the day and taking you along with us. Located just a few miles from downtown Willemstead along Mambo Beach Boulevard, Mambo Beach is one of Curacao's most lively stretches of sand that is packed with amenities. There are more than a dozen stores at Mambo Beach including souvenir shops, swimmer boutiques, and home decor. We really enjoyed browsing these shops. There are also a few tour operators who can help organize fun day trips around Curacao, as well as restaurants, cafes, and bars that we heard get quite lively at night. So if that's your style, this is where you're going to want to be. We had such a beautiful and enjoyable lunch at Bliss the Berry. Our server was so warm and lovely. We had such incredible coffee and Ryan had a sandwich that he really enjoyed. I had the most aesthetically pleasing smoothie bowl and it was a really really great experience so if you do find yourself in mambo beach i would highly recommend going to bliss the berry especially if you are a sucker for a good aesthetic like me that was exhilarating <laughs> Next, we visited Fort Beaconburg, a historic landmark in Curacao that was built in the early 1700s where it successfully defended against the British, the French, and the pirates, which I thought was so badass. Fort Beaconburg is known to be one of the best preserved forts in the Caribbean and is said to be almost in its authentic state. Fort Beaconburg is a free attraction that has a lot to offer and is rich in history. I loved walking around and seeing how huge these cactuses were. I've truly never seen anything like that before in my life. We climbed to the top of the tower, which still holds a handful of cannons and offers great views. If you're visiting Fort Beaconburg, be prepared for a number of stairs and a ladder that climbs all the way to the top. That was so cool and so fun. Highly recommend. There's so many beautiful cactus everywhere. There's so many lizards that I keep stepping on. Almost stepping on, I mean. But never step on a lizard. But really beautiful views up there. And it's just a really cool area. So highly recommend. Would you recommend as well? Yeah, very cool, nice little hike not really difficult no. and there's some history behind it and it's just hot so just just like next up we visited tugboat beach tugboat is one of the most visited snorkeling and diving spots in curacao about 50 meters from the shore you arrive at a shipwreck that has been underwater for more than 30 years because of this it's covered with beautiful coral and swarmed with fish this was such a surreal experience for us and so memorable, and I would highly recommend visiting Tugboat Beach. When we were in Curacao, we had an underwater camera with us. Unfortunately, our videos did not transfer over to the computer well, which we are very sad about, but we do still have a lot of precious memories to share with you guys. And here is just a little sneak peek of what it's like to visit Tugboat. Again, I would highly recommend adding this to your itinerary. This was such a cool experience and you do not want to miss this.
We stopped at the grocery store on our way home. We got some oranges, some eggs, some granola slash cereal, and we got this oat milk for our coffee as well as possibly cereal. Then we got some yogurt and then just these granola bars that we've already been having. We got white chocolate, we've been having them in milk chocolate and all of this was $23. Every day has been really good. Yeah, you're right. Today was one of my favorite days. I think going to Tugboat was so much fun. It was like the best snorkeling experience and we got a lot of cool footage. And now we're going to Myra's Kitchen, which was highly recommended as a favorite Curacao restaurant on a food blog that I've been referencing a lot this trip. So looking forward to that. And yeah, it's been a great day so far. I said it once and I'll say it again, Willemstead at night is a must see. It is absolutely beautiful. I loved walking on the Queen Emma Bridge at night under these lights. It was truly so magical. Something I loved about visiting Curacao at this time of year in December is getting to soak up everything the island has to offer while also seeing their Christmas decor and lights. This was really cool for my Canadian brain that really associates Christmas time to winter and snow. So this was really cool. We made it to Myra's kitchen. This was really set up in a really homey way. It was very warm. I loved the aesthetic. It was very boho, which I'm sure you can tell by now I tend to gravitate toward places like that because that's very much my style. This is a Mediterranean restaurant. So we started off with complimentary olives. Who doesn't love that? And then we moved on to this beautiful appetizer that had a variety of dips and breads. This was so good. My mouth is watering just looking at this. And then we had a tuna steak and salmon as well as sweet potato fries. This does come at a higher price point, but it is a worthwhile restaurant. We really enjoyed our experience here before walking back to our car and driving home, calling it a night after a wonderful day. After a slow morning at our Airbnb, we headed into Willemstad for round two of exploration. We started our morning at La Reina Coffee and Lifestyle. This is a really beautiful cafe. It does have a boutique in the back that has clothing, home decor, lots of neat knickknacks. So this is a really cute find. We ended up having coffee. Ryan had his Americano and I had an iced latte. It was absolutely excellent. And then we both had a really filling lunch. Ryan had the taco bowl and I had the sushi bowl. They were so delicious and the service was excellent here. It was such a beautiful way to start our day before heading off to walk 10,000 steps and explore everything that Willemstead has to offer.
Hello, you guys. We haven't really checked in this morning. We just had a chill morning at our Airbnb and we swam and tanned. And then today we've been traveling around the downtown again. And we are about to get a popsicle from an iconic place called Pop Culture. And I'm very excited. Hello you guys, we are back home from our downtown adventures. As I said earlier, we just spent the morning lounging. I was trying to get some color. I think I was somewhat successful. And then, yeah, we went downtown to Willemstead to explore all the rest of the places that we felt like we missed. And we really did a thorough walk of Punda. And then we went to that pop culture place. The popsicle was outstanding, definitely worth the hype. And now it was just, it was so hot all day that I just feel kind of gassed to be honest. But we are going to jump in the pool and then we are going to go for dinner somewhere more local to us so that we can have an early night tonight because tomorrow we are going to hit up some of the beaches on the north end that we missed on our first go around and just kind of have another beach day. So it was a really nice day. I feel like we've really done the full Willemstad and it has so much beauty and art and culture and just so many different opportunities and things to do down there. So it's definitely um, a busy spot, but it's beautiful. And I think you definitely need like two or three days to be able to fully explore all of it. So that was wonderful. And we did stop at that Van Gogh coffee shop on the way home and I got some coffee which I'm really excited to take it home because the coffee is very very good here so hoping that a little jump in the pool will wake us up and get some of this sticky sunscreen off of us and then we'll start to get ready for dinner and we'll take you guys along I think we're deciding between a place called Tomato and what's the other Pirate one? Bay. Pirate Bay so we'll see what we end up with, but let's get in the pool. It's white linen night. Don't we look cute? Yeah. On this night, we ended up deciding on tomatoes for dinner. It's pizza at the beach. Who doesn't love that? This restaurant had a really incredible atmosphere. We had great service here and we both ended up getting our own pizza. It was very large. It was thin crust, but we both took home leftovers. So we had it for lunch the next day. This was very reasonably priced. And again, beautiful views, really prime place to go if you want to watch the sunset. And we had a lovely dinner experience here. Good afternoon you guys. It was a very rainy morning and afternoon here so we just made the most of it. We were cozied up on the couch with a coffee and then a tea and reading a book, watched a YouTube video and we're just lounging and now it seems like the rain 
has stopped. We did have other plans for today. We were gonna go beach hopping to the other beaches that we didn't get to the other day, but it was just so stormy, and so we're just gonna do what we can today. We're gonna go to Kokomo Beach, which is about five minutes away from our house. We've already been there, and we had an incredible snorkeling experience there. So we're gonna go back, and today I'm gonna bring my underwater camera as well. And yeah, honestly, it was a really nice way to spend our morning just resting and relaxing. We have been pretty go, 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 and yesterday we walked a lot, over 10,000 steps, so I was kind of just craving the rest and relaxation, so that's exactly what we got. So it's been a really nice day so far, and I'm looking forward to just going to Kokomo and doing some snorkeling, and then we'll see what the rest of the day has for us. I do see the sun starting to shine, so that's very, very exciting. And let's go do some snorkeling. Hello you guys, here's your reminder to wear sunscreen even on days when it's rainy and cloudy and you don't see the sun once because I feel like you can't even really see how burnt I am on camera but I am extremely burnt, especially on my backside from when we were snorkeling but we did have a really great time snorkeling yeah. and um, then we were outside for a bit and then when I came inside to shower I realized how burnt I am but Luckily, I'm not burnt on my face. So anyways, we are getting ready to go to dinner. We are going to... Casamona. Casamona? Is that what it is? Yeah, I think yeah, so. Yeah, I think so. Something like that. And it was recommended by one of Ryan's friends. It was his favorite spot, he said, right? Yeah. When he was on good vacation food, good uh, here. So looking forward to it. We already took a look at the menu and I'm definitely going to get tacos. You look so... Look at it, and you look can't relate. <laughs> the restaurant was in fact called Mosacana and this was one of our favorite dining experiences while we were in Curacao. The service was impeccable, the meals were absolutely delicious and served as a shared experience rather than individual plates and the atmosphere was very lively and intimate. This restaurant does come at a higher price point, but it is well worth adding to your list, especially if you're doing only one night on the town or celebrating a special occasion. This was absolutely amazing and definitely a highly rated experience. Good morning, you guys. This is our last full day in paradise. We're gonna try and make the most of it. We have our flight tomorrow at 4.30, so we still have that half day. We'll be packing and all of that. So today we are going to be going to Playa Jeremiah and Klein Nip. And the sun is out. It's unexpectedly a very beautiful day. It was supposed to be rainy today, but the universe is on our side. So I'm all lathered up in sunscreen and we are ready to go do some snorkeling and relaxing on the beach today. We're gonna go to the grocery store first to grab some stuff for lunch because there's not a lot of restaurants or options in that area. So I think we're just gonna go with like the classic peanut butter and jam sandwich and some snacks, but we'll see what we find there. But really excited about our last day and to take you along with us. Our first stop was to play at Jeremiah. This was an absolutely beautiful beach that had a really authentic and local feel. It was quite private. There aren't a lot of beach chairs there, but we had such a blast here. We spent a long time swimming. The water was so clear and we did some snorkeling. Our bread, our mango juice, peanut butter, jam, papaya, and some trail. Our next and final stop was to Klein Nip. This is just down the road to Grote Nip where we went on our first beach hopping day. This was an absolutely beautiful beach. 
It had the huge body of turquoise clear water, but it just was more private and it had a nicer beach chair. So we actually rented beach chairs on this day and we spent the rest of the afternoon sunbathing. I was actually burning and going swimming and just enjoying the beach. It was so, so beautiful. Hello you guys, we had a beautiful day at the beaches. It turned out to be such a gorgeous day. My inevitable sunburn is here. I'm in a little bit of pain. I was wearing SPF 60 today, but the sun is hot. The UV rays were high. So we are going out for our last dinner. So excited. We're actually going to the place across the street from where we went last night because the ambiance looked really good. The vibe and aesthetic looked really nice there. It definitely won us over. So we're gonna go check it out and we're gonna take you with us. Okay guys, we are all packed and we are getting ready to go to the airport. We had such a wonderful trip. We loved Curacao. We had such an incredible stay. We loved all the beaches, all the snorkeling, all the restaurants, everything. Can you think of a highlight? Um, to everything. I know, it's hard. Yeah. We can't even it really... Good. It was, and we can't even really think of our favorite restaurant or your favorite beach was yesterday, right? Yeah, my favorite beach to relax was yesterday at Klein Nip. Um, just because of the clear turquoise blue water and the white sand beaches. Yeah. And it wasn't very crowded it at really all. It really wasn't. And they had nice chairs. And mine was probably Playa Lagoons for the snorkeling. And I loved being able to sit at the top with the iguanas and it was just so beautiful, but everywhere was amazing. There was such good food here. Um, the only downfall I will say is there's lots of bugs. Yeah, we, although it got better. It did as get we better. Went, as we learned. But um, we are covered in bug bites. Bring your bug spray. You yeah. Use it from the first first day that you're here. Very first day you're here. Just spray yourself with it. And then the other thing to know if you are a dog lover like us is that there are tons and tons of stray dogs everywhere like we saw dozens and dozens per day and it's it's very difficult to see ryan kept telling me that there's nothing i could do for them but there are so many of them and sometimes it's just it's hard to see them out and not want to like take them all home but we wouldn't be able to take a couple hundred dogs home on, on the plane so but Otherwise, can you think of really anything else that was like? No. It's an no. amazing trip. I would definitely come back if you want to come back. I'll come back. <laughs> we loved it here. Such a great environment, such great weather. We felt very safe. Everything was so amazing. And I can definitely see us returning. So thank you guys for spending the week with us. If you enjoyed this video, please a like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any recommendations for any places that we missed, please comment down below. And if you're traveling to Curacao, just know that everything we did is going to be in the description. And we'll see you on our next trip. <laughs>